All right, everyone, we are finally at the end. Well, we're pretty close to the end of our Hoshigaki journey. And this is basically just a dried persimmon, naturally dried, no assistance from a dehydrator, even though this is a dehydrator tray. And you could say we could wait even longer, which we, met, we are going to because there's these crystallized sugar that forms on the exterior here. And there's still some moisture, you can see that in there. It's still a bit wet in different locations, but that crystallized sugar will pretty much coat the entire exterior of the fruit. And that's when you know they're pretty much done completely. However, I don't mind having a different texture to the fruits and I'd rather I think have them a bit sort of gooey and a little soft on the inside rather than this completely dried state here although I don't know so I want to try this one here this is definitely the one that's the furthest along and we'll try something like this that's uh, we've been eating in the last couple of days which I've been I'm in love with so I'm happy with this but we may like one of them, one state of this fruit better than the other. So I'm gonna try the one that's the most furthest advanced. And I recommend you guys do this with all fruits that you guys grow. Whoa. So this is actually very quite, it's quite different. And you can really see in here, there's still some moisture in here. I imagine this is very jammy and not as gooey as we, mentioned to you guys in other videos, the persimmon's kind of like having four fruits in one and that as the fruit progresses from stage one, which is kind of like a fuyu type that's crunchy, we then get to something like this, which is very gooey on the inside. Look at the difference between that. It's kind of like the consistency of a marshmallow and it's quite gooey and juicy and then it dries out even further and then this is what we get and it's kind of like jam um, and then it dries completely and you can maybe sort of make this out on the exterior of these fruits is that fully dried state because the inside hasn't really dried but the exterior sort of has um, they're drying from the outside in and it kind of reminds me of like a grainy pancake or like a grainy pear almost. So let me try this. This is the jammy state. And I imagine this is the best state that I'm going to enjoy. This is the one that I'm, I enjoy the most. Actually, what's weird is I'm peeling this, peeling the inside out. And you can see that this part right here, this is the pancake slash grainy pear right here. So if I just eat this, that's really along the lines of the texture of a dried persimmon. It's some kind of like, maybe not a pancake is the right word or even a pear is the right word, but it's almost like some sort of a uh, pastry I've had or something like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. I do know it's incredible. Now, if I just eat this inside portion here, this is the jammy part. Yeah, oh man. Now that is incredible. So for me, I'm just saying, you know, that's like the best for I can grow because that bite right there that I just ate was pretty much like on the level of some of the best figs I've ever had. It's such an incredible fruit, guys. I really am blown away that you can just peel this fruit. I mean, that's really the steps what we took, right? We peeled the skin off. You can see the skin, the remnants. There's a little bit of the skin up here. Here's the stem. But you just peel that off, let it sit in a dry environment it really does take about 30 days 
in a dry environment. And then they turn into these incredible fruits. And along the way, they can be eaten at really a bunch of different states and stages. So let's try this one here. If you're not really convinced at this point that you should have a persimmon tree, I don't know what's really wrong with you guys. Maybe you don't have land or something. You know, they do take up a bit of space, but Asian persimmons, you know, you can keep them 10 by 10. Let's try this. Well, that's very good. And it reminds me of something a little different than an astringent persimmon you would eat fresh. It's not far from an astringent persimmon eaten fresh because it's still juicy. It's still got that gooeyness, the marshmallowness in there. But uh, for me, I enjoy it, but I like the jamminess better. I like the jammy texture that it gets to this really dried state here. So I think that's what I'm going to do with the rest of these fruits is I'm going to be patient and I'm just going to wait for the rest of them. Um, I did find it very strange that some of these look quite different than others. And I don't know why. And some of them even taste different. I mean, like look at the difference in the, look at the difference in these two. Isn't that just so strange? That's crazy, right? Done at the same time, maybe it has something to do with the ripeness level or this one I believe because it, it didn't really stand up straight. You know, I had them sitting down like, like that fruit over there on the stem. And some of them I just had to lay down like that. So I think if I hung these up and I was able to hang these up like you normally would, um, I would probably have them all uniform and look in the same or pretty close to the same. But, you know, even some of these look just very different from each other. And it's just pretty nuts. Very strange. But, um, yeah, that's Hoshigaki, guys. That is like, it's really stupidly simple. It's an incredible fruit. I would definitely grow an astringent persimmon to do this. Uh, this is a Haichia that I bought at the store. Um, my persimmons, we just ate them fresh throughout the season and we ran out. We didn't have enough this year, enough production. So we went to the store, we got some Hychias. That's really what the Hychia is meant for, you know. Um, it really does form an amazing fruit in this dried state because it's a big fruit to begin with. Then when you're done at this portion here, uh, it's still quite a big fruit. And this would make a really great gift. I know a lot of people in certain cultures that would go crazy for this. Absolutely bonkers for that. And I've been sort of letting people try them very sparingly. And, and um, only the people I think that would appreciate it or could appreciate it. Because it's a really special thing. And um, you don't really get this that often. But if you guys get a persimmon tree... About year four, you probably won't have to buy persimmons ever again. So, you know, word to the wise, do some research. We've done tons of videos now on these persimmons. And we've done tons of videos talking about where to get them, where to buy them, how to grow them, how to prune them, um, you name it. So get yourself the right type, you know, whether that's an Asian or an American or a hybrid. Um, totally recommend that video we did on how or where I think it was where to buy persimmon trees and then the last thing I want to mention is that we actually do have some persimmon cuttings for sale of my Rosianca tree we, we pruned it we took cuttings people have been buying them up on Figbid that's down in the description pretty cheap not asking for a whole lot you do I recommend you do graft them but um, yeah, it's a great offer, I think. And it's a great variety that can grow almost anywhere. And the fruit is definitely on par with this 
this dried state here. You can honestly just take the, what I've learned is that this is sort of an unnecessary thing. You know, you can do it like this, this Hoshigaki thing here that we did, peel on the fruits and all that, but you don't have to because they will naturally dry for you. Even without peeling the skin, it just takes a bit longer, I find. And um, you'll get the right consistency that you're looking for every time, just by letting them sit there. Um, this is a nice thing because some people don't like the skin, and I can see how that could be a thing. Um, and then, of course, it's a fully dried fruit that you can give to somebody, and um, it'll last quite a bit. You can have these all wintertime. So that's my goal in the future. Go persimmons, guys. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Take care, everybody.